Hey, remember that sweet girl from Deltarune Chapter 2? Noelle? Yeah, she's like the most powerful being ever. So this is Noelle. And boy, does she look terrified and she's taking damage? Okay. The movement feels hella clean though, I will say. Great animations, not too bad. And uh, we have a meter going on. We have a lot of questions, like why is my percentage going up? And we're gonna answer them. And also, why did it stop at 80? Let's start at the basics. So for jab, we have uh, just a standard freezing thing that holds them in place. So this is what it looks like without hitting somebody. And then if you hit somebody, it just kind of freezes them and tosses them up a little bit. Interesting. Up tilt, I throw out a peepees. Yes, that's actually the name. Look it up, I promise. For down tilt, we do like a little, are those like ice shards on the ground? For forward tilt, ooh, okay, it's like an ice crystal. And boy, does it have some knockback. And now dash attack. Oh, what the heck? We pull out like a sled, an ice sled. All right, let's go ahead and do the aerials. So for forward air, we have like a snowflake attack and it's a multi-hit. For back air, we have a wind tornado. For up air, we have another ice shard peeking out from above. Great for juggling. And for down air, we have kind of like a soft hitting hitbox that kind of just delicately hits. Uh, it does not feel very menacing at all. And then for neutral air, we just have a snowflake peeking out of me. Let's take a look at these alternate costumes. We have Noelle, Chris, Susie, Ralse, Birdly, Queen, Spam to Neo, Light World, and back to Noel. Noel was created by Bone Jack Glitz. According to a workshop page, Noel wears the thorn ring, which is why she's taking damage up to a max of 80%. All right, we almost forgot the shielding and taunting animation. So for shielding, we have, ooh, like a nice little ice barrage thing. This character also comes with a unique mechanic where if you are to parry successful, you actually gain TP. All right, now let's go ahead and do the taunt. Proceed. All right, I'd like to introduce you to a friend. This is Spam Ton Neo, and he likes to talk a lot, as you can see, and his HUD is also very glitchy. There are two new Spam Ton Neos in the workshop, and we will cover both very soon. So you gotta subscribe if you wanna see that. Whoa, what the heck? Look what happens when you pause the game. Jeez, bro. Okay, now let's get to the fun stuff. So, for specials and smash attacks, you actually start to consume your TP, which is the meter at the bottom. For side special, we have a misty cloud that uh, put some Z's next to me, apparently, huh? Apparently it's sleep mist, which causes enemies to be slowed, affecting their movement and speed of their attacks. Interesting. For down special, we have, oh, healing. Look at that. And now I'm at 40%. Does that mean I'm gonna climb back up to 80 now? I guess this confirms that once you heal, you no longer take damage. That's pretty cool. For up special, we have a recovery move that does a good amount of damage from below. That's pretty sick. I like that a lot, actually. You can kind of carry an opponent with it. <laughs> All right, at 100%, Neutral B does the iconic move we were all waiting for, Snowgrave. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, it looks just like it does in-game. Wow, and it one-hit KOs. That's incredible. All right, let's do some smash attacks, which also consume TP, by the way. So for Fort Smash, we have Chris coming in, doing a devastating blow. That was kind of sick. For Down Smash, we have Spam Ton Neo Wings. Jeez, okay. For Up Smash, we have the Snow Globe, which kind of pulls them in and launches them up. All right, that was the move set. Let's hop into the fun. All right, it's time to put everything we've learned to the test into one successful match. Now, before starting this video, I actually did some research on Snowgrave as I played Deltarune Chapter 2, but I didn't play the Snowgrave route. And boy, is it dark. I recommend, you know, doing some research on it yourself if you've never heard of Snowgrave. It is quite spooky. Oh my gosh, that smash attack is disgusting. Wait, you can move while doing down air to kind of sprinkle ice in any direction that you want. That's so cool, what the heck? 
I think it also gives you some upwards momentum. So neutral special without it being fully charged just does like a small ice attack that freezes them still. That's pretty sick. What the heck? Wait, Steve was frozen solid. Noel got stronger. Wait, that's a custom message compatible with Steve. What the heck? I love it when two characters collaborate together, that's so awesome. Okay, so I just realized that Noelle doesn't really have any KO moves unless you spend TP. Oh, look at her respawn platform, said proceed. Noelle has a pretty decent uh, combo game, you just gotta kinda learn what she's doing. Like that, I mean, it's just like a good way to kind of carry your opponent. And now it's time for Snowgrave. Does it auto-lock? Yeah, it auto-locks on to the enemy. And that's it, you just, you die. <laughs> okay. And that's her victory screen. Very, very cool animation. All right, we're battling Gaster, as Gaster was a very worthy opponent that we reviewed very recently. Bro has a lot of good utility and an excellent combo game. We're gonna have to be very careful here. Now, something you really have to be careful uh, about when playing Noel is your smash attacks cost you your TP, so you can't just spam a bunch of smash attacks like a five-year-old, which is how I normally play the video game. You gotta be a little more conscious about your decisions. Damn, look at that, nice finisher. This combo never ends. It never ends. It just it just ended. I'm sorry. I, I really I dropped it. Oh wait, that was kind of a sweet combo though. Not too shabby at all. Not too shabby. Noel actually has a pretty nice recovery, assuming that you don't accidentally go the wrong direction with it. Dash attack is actually kind of bad with Noel, so you gotta rely on uh, not dash attack if you want to be successful, that's for sure. Ooh, sleeping mist. Does it actually like Gaster, do you feel slower? Oh, that snow globe, kind of nice. See ya. <laughs> but can she destroy Kara? That's a question we always have to ask ourselves. Kara is a very powerful character. I've said this hundreds of times. So we're gonna go ahead and put it to the test. Now something that concerned me a little bit was Sai, the creator of Kara, left a comment on one of my videos saying that they might look into redesigning the AI for Kara. Now, if that were to happen, I would probably cry, because Kara is already scary as is, and Sai makes some of the most scary and intimidating characters in the workshop, so... Eh, I don't know how to feel about that one. No way! I did Snowgrave and then it cancelled! Huh! Oh my gosh, what did I tell you, bro? I tried to Snowgrave and then I lose the game, man. I'm actually struggling to beat this character. Kara is actually kind of powerful. I, I really, I'm really struggling here. Wait, it actually does lower the frame rate on the character. That's so interesting. I wonder if that's how it works behind the scenes. It lowers the frame rate of the other character. All right, if we just press B. Okay, the move actually can miss in some scenarios, but if you just hit them into it, it will all be okay. Wow, my wings changed into angel wings when I didn't have full TP. All right, Kara. Okay, I brought in some backup. It's me and Kirby against Kara. We got this with the power of friendship and teamwork. We will win this. Okay, never mind. We're both getting like absolutely d destroyed right now. Oh, let's go, Kirby. We got this, bro. Oh, let's go. The Chris Smash Attack Deluxe. We actually, it's a three-man team. We got Noel, Chris, and Kirby. The good down smash. Down smash is actually kind of weak, I'm not gonna lie, and that's that. Wow, Kirby made a huge difference. All right, I had a ton of fun with Noel. Very well-made character and honestly, pretty balanced, I have to say. It's a pretty balanced character. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe, and be sure to check out our Undertale Deltarune playlist. We have reviewed a ton of characters from the series, and we plan to do a tournament very soon, so catch up on all the episodes so you know what to expect. Follow me on all my socials, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.